All right, it's a bit gitorte, but here's the system. This is the proof of concept test. I got a bucket of clean motor oil, the pump, and the rheostat, which, because it was easier than pulling two batteries out of something else, is currently set at uh, 25 volts, or uh, about the average voltage for the, the 925, the big army truck. I did not seal any of the joints, and so we're, we're pulling just through this flexible oxygen tubing here. But, should be good. Should be good. I'm about to plug it in. It is not primed, though I did do a, uh, a quick test a second ago to... Uh, with with the container at a higher elevation than the pump itself a just a you know gravity feed kind of thing and and then ran a full a blue a bunny bucket of clean motor oil through it i didn't want to try and pull a vacuum right to to suck without making sure the little brass gears inside there were were properly schmooed so here we go. So we're aerating. I'm assuming we're aerating because I'm pulling air in through these crappy joints. It develops a fair bit of pressure. The question I have, is that much oil gonna be enough to pre-lube that block? I personally think it is. This ought to back feed and gravity back down. Though it might fail because of... Oh, no, there it goes over there. Because it's going to pull that foam back down through. So disregard the foam, right? That's that's a, a leaking joint on the suction side. And I didn't put, I didn't put anything. Um, a little surprised that their supplied hose barbs aren't capable of sealing better than that but they are pulling pretty hard and that pulled a, a vacuum or rather that pulled that oil up relatively quickly i was actually quite surprised how fast it did that happy surprised how fast it did that i think this is going to be a winner and if not a winner i think at most i'm going to be looking at uh, a pair of these but I don't think it'll be a pair of these. I think it'll be just fine. The only other test we got to do is we got to push through the one-way valves and we got to suck through the one-way valves. So that is going to limit flow. They say that the suction side one-way valve has a three to four PSI release. Release. Words. Hard. Times. Now. And so, yeah. But you saw how fast that primed. It's like a McDonald's milkshake straw. I think we're going to have no troubles, no troubles at all in getting it to prime quickly. So, yeah, that's a pretty hoked and hacked together test. But I do believe we're looking at the first proof of concept. The next big hurdle, will it will it pull through? The reason I want a one-way valve down at uh, the oil pan fitting is, God help me, stick, something horrible happens, <laughs> hoses get ripped off. I mean, if the fittings get ripped out of the pan, there ain't nothing I can do about it, right? But uh, I can tuck them in there. But it, let's happens if the, if the hoses, something happens, the hoses break off. That four PSI should be more than enough to keep that oil 
from gushing out of the block. I'm not saying it won't drip out, but it'll keep it from gushing out. It'll keep me from having a 3 8 pipe hole in the side. That's my thinking anyways. On the, uh, the block side, in order to keep it from pushing uh, potentially 80 pounds of pressure back through, um, I'll have a one-way check valve at the top. And I'm thinking that that will probably be a 15 sixteenths or quarter. Because it's going to go into one eighth pipe. So it's going to push. It's going to push through a little smaller. In my initial test, I put my finger over the, the end of the hose and I could spray oil. Not, not across the room, mind you, but I could spray oil. And the more I pushed on there, um, the harder, the harder it sucked air here, and uh, the more oil leaked out of that fitting. So, yeah, I, I know the pump's going to struggle a little more with those. I still want to also put this in the freezer. My wife's going to be thrilled. Uh, freeze it and do this whole test again and see what happens when it tries to pull oil that's really, really cold. I think I think I think it's a proof of concept.